NAP update video. It's 1031. Happy Halloween. The electrical service has been relocated. It's no longer in the parking pad, so we're good to go there. Uh, all the electrical pedestals are in, all the conduits under the ground, all our cables are in for the cable company, all our waters are done, all our sewers are done, all the lighting on the pedestals is complete. We have Marco Rock installing base rock in the sites right now. He's got 11 out of 13 completed. We have two that he could not complete at this time due to, as we were undercutting the roads in, he hit some old tree stumps that we are in the process of trying to either get out or grind down so he can pop out what he can to get, uh, get as much out as he possibly can. We are waiting on a gentleman to come to do the stump grinding. So as you can see, there's base rock in a lot of these sites. We come up through here. We have a bunch of orange flags. That's where the main water line has a leak. The gentleman that's going to repair the leak it should be in here today, uh, possibly this afternoon yet, or first thing in the morning Thursday. But we're going to walk up here so you can get a look at what we have, what we're dealing with. Okay, here's our leak. You can see the water in the hole. As you look at the fitting, you have a T that's underground where the white spots are. That's the sand getting pushed up to the surface by the water leaking out of the fittings. And then to the right, you see the electrical conduit that was put in the ground and the cable that I put in the ground. And in the center there, you can see a valve. That valve obviously controls the cabins, which uh, this was buried underneath the concrete pad for years. So this valve was not even accessible. So we are in the process of when the repair is made here, we're going to relocate the valve right over here on this side of the road so it's more easily accessible and no longer in a parking pad. Okay, that's the NAP update for 1031.